space. Um, you were there a lot. Um, and when you came back, um, you came up with this phrase, which you, you and I have discussed, and you, you talk about this orbital perspective. Um, you have a, a video of, of sort of how, that sort of shows that, but tell me what you mean by it first. Well, what, what I mean by it is we could look down at, at our planet and we could um, realize that each and every one of us is riding through the universe together on the spaceship that we call Earth, that we're all interconnected, that we're all in this together, as, as Jill Tarter said, and, and that we're all family. And it's, it really is a cognitive shift in, in, in just awareness of, of who we are, what we are, and it's, it is an uh, incredible transformational experience. Um, I, I don't want to make it sound like it was an epiphany. It wasn't an epiphany for me. It was an epiphany in slow motion uh, over the course of a half a year. Um, and I, I launched into space with a belief that we have all the technology, we have all the resources to solve all the problems that we face. Um, and I spent a good part, you know, any spare time I had, I, I had my face plastered to a window, you know, looking mostly like, like a kid staring yeah, exactly. out. Exactly. <laughs> Usually with a camera in my hand, but uh, looking at, at our, our beautiful Earth and pondering that question, you know, if we do have all the technology, if we have all the resources to solve all the problems, why do we still have them? I mean, what, what's, what's, what is the, the critical thing that's missing? And, and one, one, I, one of the key things that I think is missing is our ability to collaborate on a global scale. And if we, if we could show the first video, this, um, but before you show it, I just wanna, uh, this is not CGI, this is real. Uh, this will show you uh, the global scale. And as you watch this video, I want you, and you see that our beautiful Earth, uh, our magical Earth, I want you to see the sobering contradiction between the, the beauty of our planet and the uh, unfortunate realities of, of life on our planet for many. That was one of uh, 16 sunrises we see a day. There goes Miami and Cuba. Haiti is off to the left. You can see the lights of Port-au-Prince there. Uh, that, that thin line, across, that's, not the, that's not the atmosphere. That's something called Arable. The atmosphere is much, much thinner. So here comes Europe. Uh, there's Italy, obviously. Uh, we're coming up there, Cyprus. We can see uh, Israel and, and Egypt, the Nile River Valley. Um, just coming into view, the Red Sea. And so this, this is a time-lapse photography. These are the auroras. This is what it really looks like. Now, it's sped up a little bit, um, so the motion is a little bit more than uh, we get, but this is, this is really what it looks like, and it's just a absolutely breathtaking. Uh, but again, you know, you are, you are filled with this, this sobering contradiction. You can see the solar panels of the, of the space station tracking the sun, even though the, the sun's on the other side of the Earth, and... Uh, it is truly a magical, beautiful planet that we have. Now, 